Now one more time, one more time, one more time. One more time. Do it, do it, do it. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. So I'd just like us to get into a moment of prayer and just pray. And just invite the presence of the Lord. You know, he says we are two or more gathered is there. So just call upon his name. We honor your name, Lord. We love your name, Lord. We worship your name, Jehovah. Nobody like you, my Father, my God. We worship your name, my God. We worship your name, my God. Just call upon his name. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. He's here to listen. He says that come and I'll answer you. Ask him that you shall find. See that no one shall Come on, call upon his name. There is no one like you, Jehovah. We worship your name. Thank you, and we worship your name. We adore your name. We magnify your name, God. Ami niwa Yesu 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 Jina lako ni lako Ami niwa Yesu 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 Jina lako ni lako
of our Father. We bless your name this morning, Lord. But I will lift up our hands. We lift up our voices unto you this morning. As we declare the sovereignty, Jehovah, the Lord, there is none like you, King of glory. There is none like you, Jehovah. In all eternity, my Father, we will search, O oh Lord, and find none like the King of glory. There is none faithful like you are, my Father. There is none who loves like you have loved us all, Jehovah. There is none who sustains like you do, Lord. You will seek close and close, Father, my Father. For the brother, our God, we are grateful, Jehovah Jireh. And you offer our worship to you this morning as you declare, Yahweh, that you are lifted up in sit of the Lord, that in our lives, Jehovah, Lord, you are exalted, mighty man of all. You are great and awesome, Jehovah. This is not like thee, dear Lord. Oh, Lord, how we love you this morning. How we bless your name this morning. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Your name, Lord, is a strong tower that I shall ride to, and they are safe, my Father. Your name, Lord, is a hiding place, my Redeemer. We run to and you are safe, my Father. Your name, Jehovah, Lord, is our strength, my Father. In our weariness, Father, in our weaknesses, Lord, our strength to us, my Father. In our helplessness, Jehovah, Jehovah is there, our helper. You've sent your help to us, my Redeemer. In our ailments, King of glory, Bob of Gilead, you have binded our wounds, Lord. You have healed us, King of glory. And so, Lord, for this and much more that you've done to us individually, you've done to us, the church, my Father. We come with a song of praise, a song of hallelujah, a song of thanksgiving, a song of adoration. Lord, we declare we have none but thee. We have none besides thee, Jehovah. All of our worship, Lord, is unto you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord. You are great and awesome, Lord. And Lord Jesus, we bow before your throne this morning. Oh, Lord. It's not like you, Jesus. Oh, yes, hakuna. Hakuna liye kama wewe. Upendo wako bwana ni wakipeke. Oh, Lord, you've loved us with an everlasting love, Jehovah. As we are not deserving, Lord, you came for us. You died for us, Lord. This not like the Lord. Oh, I bless your name this morning, Lord. We exalt your name. We bless you. Lord, we wait on you this morning. Our hearts come to you, Lord, thirsty for your presence, Lord. Some of us have come this place just desiring of your presence. The psalmist says in Psalm 42, my heart longs for the Lord as the deer pants for the water. Lord, we thirst for you as the deer longs for, for streams of water, Lord. Our heart comes the desire of your presence, Lord. Would you, Lord, overwhelm us with your presence in this service, my Father? Would you touch our hearts, oh Lord? Would you stand up, oh Lord, in your presence, Lord? My Father and my God, would your presence reign in this place? Father, oh, touch our hearts once more. My God, revive us again. The psalmist cry. Would you not revive us again? That you may enjoy the joy of our salvation. That you may have the joy of our salvation, our Father. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we exalt your name. We lift our hearts to you. And our hearts, Lord, are open to you, King of glory. Oh, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because, Lord, your name is lifted high. Oh, Lord, this none like you, King of glory. And all the power and all dominion and all worship, Lord. And all the praises, Lord. And all the exaltation, Father. And all the honor is all due unto the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You who is never, you never lie. You who is compared to none, Lord. Oh, King of glory, we bless you. We love you. We worship you, Lord, this morning. In Sitam Thikarot, Lord. Your name is lifted high. 
as Joshua said, as for me and my family, we serve the Lord. That's our declaration this morning. The Lord has sit and think on us and our families, Lord. We will praise the living God and so be exalted. Be magnified, Jehovah God. Be lifted high, holy God. We exalt your name, we bless you. Oh Lord, we honor and bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. said in your word that if we humble ourselves and come unto you my God we shall heal the land and you shall hear our cry my God and God here we are in your presence Jehovah you have told us all those who are weary and tired my God if they come to you my God and they lay their burdens unto you Jehovah you shall help us carry them my God God, we bring our burdens unto your feet, Jehovah. And God, we surrender everything that we have unto you, my God. Here we are at your mercies, my God. We lift your name on high and we glorify you, Jehovah. For we do not know any other God like you, my God. For God, you have done exceedingly and abundantly of all that we have asked from you, my God. God, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, Jesus. God, may you be with us, my God. Walk with us, my God. For we know this journey of salvation is not easy, my God. But God, we call unto you, my God. God, we call unto your name, Jesus, that you shall hear our cry, my God. That God, you shall hear our hearts, Jehovah. Even when our mouth cannot speak, Jesus, hear the desires of our hearts, my God. God, may you walk in us, Jesus. God, may you walk in us, my God. May you intercede for us, Jesus. We intercede for us, my God. For God, you loved us so much, Jesus, that you gave your one and only son to die for us, my God. Who are we that you are merciful of us, my God? Who are we that you are mindful of us, Jesus? That God, you gave us your only son, my God. Oh, Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor and all the adoration, Jesus. Let your name be exalted, my God. Let your name be glorified, my God. God, we pray for everyone who is in this church, my God, that God, you shall give them an openness of heart, my God, that they shall hear your word, my God, and it shall work inside of them, my God, that God, they shall grow in you, my God, that everything that we do, my God, let it be to the glorification of your kingdom, my God. Let your name be exalted, my God. God, we bring the children unto your able hands, my God. For they are young souls, my God. And we know that the devil is after the young souls, my God. God, we protect them with your blood, my God. The blood that was shed on the cross, my God. God, we surrender them unto you, my God. God, we dedicate them unto you, my God. That you shall walk with them, my God. That God, you shall be with them, my God. That every desires of the world, my God, shall not attack them, my God. That God, you shall give them the strength, my God, that they shall not be conformed to the standards of this world, my God, but they shall be transformed inwardly by a complete change of their mind, Jesus. God, may you be with them and guide them, my God. May you speak to them, my God. God, walk with them, my God, in their educations, my God. Be with them, my God, for you have said that your children shall forever be the head and not the tail, my God. That you have said that your children are more than conquerors, my God. God, may you walk in them, Jesus. God, protect them and guide them, my God. God, we pray for the family altars, my God, that they shall not be broken, my God, that they shall not be broken, Jesus. But God, you shall stand in the family family altars, my God, that God, you shall be with each and every family here, my God, that God, you shall hear their cry, Jesus, you shall be with them and guide them, my God, may you bless them spiritually, my God, physically and also financially, Jesus, guide them and walk with them, my God, we protect you, my God. Let your name be here with us, my God. Let your spirit overflow in this place, my God. God, we pray for all those who have lost their people, my God. 
that you shall be there, my God. God, we give you the, we give you thanksgiving, my God, that you have been with our sister Mary Wanyugu, my God, as he as she was discharged from hospital, Jesus. May you guide her and may you protect her, my God. We thank you for the healing that you have given unto them, my God. Continue being with those that we have lost, my God. That in the past week, Jehovah, we have been to a few burials, Jesus. God, we thank you, my God. May you be with them, my God. Give them a peace of mind, Jesus. Guide their hearts, my God. Be with our sister, Fralencia, my God. She lost the husband, my God. With Matron and Matthew, my God, as they lost their baby, Jesus. We pray for sister Aida, my God, as she lost her mother-in-law, Jesus. May you be with them, my God. May you guide them, my God. Give them peace, my God, that surpasses every human understanding, my God. That we shall restore their joy, my God. That we shall be with those, all, all those who are sick, Jesus. That we shall guide them, my God. God, we pray for Sister Christine, my God. Following the accident that she was in, my God. We thank you that you sustained her health, my God. We thank you that you protected her, my God. And as she's in hospital, Jesus. May you be there, my God. Give her healing in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for Thomas Nyaga, my God, as his dad is admitted in ICU, my God, that God, you shall speak healing unto them, my God, that God, your healing shall be with the family, my God. God, we pray for brother Paul T, my God, that you shall be with him, my God, that you shall give them healing, Jesus. God, speak to them, my God. We pray for those who have lost their, their people, my God, and you are yet to go for the burial, my God. We pray for Lydia, my God, as he, she lost the husband, Jesus. May you be with them, my God, as we go for the burial on Tuesday, my God. Guide them and be with them, my God. Walk with them, Jesus. Let the burial be a success, my God, that you shall speak to them, my God. That you shall walk with them, Jesus. We pray for Rebecca, my God, and Michael, my God. As they lost their mom, Jesus, may you speak to them, my God. Guide them and protect them, my God. We pray for Stella and Tanya, my God, as, she, as they lost their baby, Jesus. May you speak to them, my God. Walk with them and guide each and everyone who is sick and those who have lost their people, my God. Give them a peace of mind, my God. Heal their hearts, Jesus. God, we pray for our country, my God. We bring our leadership unto your able hands, Jesus. That you shall walk with us, my God. That because, God, we know that the leadership and the authority comes from you, my God. We pray that you shall be with our country, God. That you shall guide us, my God, for the church leadership, Jesus. God, we pray that you shall sustain them, my God. That, God, you shall be with them in every endeavor that they undertake, my God. That, God, you shall be the Alpha and Omega in our lives, Jesus. We give you all the praise and we give you all the honor, my God. God, I pray for our preacher for today, my God. That you shall use him, my God. My God, that God, you shall speak to him, my God, as he stands here, my God, let every word that comes from his mouth, my God, may it come from you, my God, may it be to the glorification of your kingdom, Jehovah. God, you give all the praise, you give you all the honor. We thank you, Jesus. We lift your name on high, my God, for it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. applause to our lovely worship team as they take their seat. Good morning. Good morning. Please wave at me. If you can see me, please wave. Hey. I remember when Pastor Monica was preaching and then she said, standing here is, I'm feeling it. I was like, nah, it can't be that bad. Hey, I'm feeling it now. Well, <laughs> praise the Lord. Good morning. I know, I know it sounds so cliche, but it's really nice to see you in the house of the Lord and you look so lovely from up here. A round of applause to yourself. Yeah, that's really nice. So we are your moderators of the day. My name is Brittany Luchivia. And I am Nina Anna. And we are happy to be here, to be your moderators. So I'd like to welcome a special group of people. Mm -hmm. If you're visiting us for the very first time, and this is your first time at Sitam Pika Road, could you just wave at me? Let me just see. Wow, nice, a round of applause. 
Would you just stand, if, if you may, please just stand so that our ushers could recognize you. So thank you so much for visiting us, if you're visiting us. And yeah, that's nice. And church, if this is, um, now if they're looking for a church, yeah, what do we tell them? Your search for a church is come to a blessed end. Amen. And if you're visiting, please send your greetings. You may have your seats in the house of the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, nice. So we want to release the children. 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 Oh. <laughs> Stand up. I remember when I was like a kid like this. I was so small. So tiny. So short. But I'm still short. <laughs> Okay, let's pray for the children. Our dear everlasting Father, we come before you this morning. We say thank you for the gift of life, my Lord. As we lead the children to go to Sunday school, God be with them. Help them to understand what they are going to teach them, my God. As they're learning your word, my God be with them. Just let my prayer to send believe them. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. So as they leave, um, we are the youth. This is the second Sunday of the youth month, and we are blessed to be here. I hope you've been blessed by our ministry so far. I hope you have been blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, and we are happy to be here. So uh, I'll talk about Y Church. In the youth ministry, we have the Y Church and the T Church. So Y is for the youth, mostly campus-going students. And if you regard yourself as a youth, you, you are also welcome. You're also welcome. So yeah, it runs uh, concurrently with the first service from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. or as the Lord leads. And um, from there, we don't go home. Guys, if you're here, we don't go home, okay? Yeah, we don't go home. From here, then we go to Crossroads. Crossroads is a fellowship for us uh, from Sasa Tukitoka Hawaii Church. Now we go to Crossroads. It runs from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. or as the Lord leads. Yeah, so um, after, after that, okay, Crossroads is usually on every Sunday except a Sunday where we have Hadassahs and chauffeurs. So Hadassahs is a fellowship for women or for ladies 18 years and above and chauffeurs is for the gents yeah and that's why church i'll talk about teens church t church t for teens yeah it's amazing trust me goes from 11 30 to 1 we learn a lot of things from amazing speakers and after the service there's juice yes we take you know fellowship and then swallowship we swallow the juice and biscuits it's very nice and sweet na inakwanga mingi unashiba before ufike kwenye eh so teens come kwa hapa don't miss it's amazing trust me so yes yeah and we also have ministries in youth church we have we have uh, so many ministries you can mention some of them yes ashering yes nasaidia tu kuingia kanisani Eh, kuna band, 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 worship team. Yes, we praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, creative, creative talents, dancing. You know, arts and craft. If you know how to draw, Missy Kubarika ni mkono. Na media team, media team. Yes, eh, kupiga picha, announcements, stuff of the sort. Yeah, and we also have prayer ministry. Now, when we get to prayer ministry, now it's a bit wide. So we have something known as Blessed Gen. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. So Blessed Gen is just Blessed Generation, but you know, we have to be, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so we call it Blessed Gen. So it is a fellowship. I actually wrote it down, because, but I think I can remember. You know, I can be in absentia, I can be Pastor Njoroge, the way he's in his scriptures like this. I even thought it was being projected here. It's not. He's... <laughs> but yeah, so um, Blessed Gen, it's a movement where it ushers young people to a place of intimacy with Jesus Christ. So it's basically about prayer, worship, fellowship, you know, and ministry, just doing ministry and doing, you know, falling in love with Jesus, yeah? And it happens on the second Friday of the, of the month, every second Friday, unless communicated otherwise. Now, you may ask, where is it communicated? So as you ask, where, where is it communicated? <laughs> 
So, <laughs> thank you for those who have asked. So, it is communicated in our WhatsApp channel. We have a WhatsApp channel. You can just go and search Blessed Gen Community, and you will get the details. Everything will be nice. And if you'd like to join, you can also see me. Or after the service, you can see the ushers. Or we have a lovely tent out there. You can just talk to us. Please plug in. Feel free to plug in. Um, kindly request the media team to roll out the announcements. A very good morning to you and welcome to CTEM Thicker Road. This is the place where everybody is somebody and Christ is the answer. Our theme this year is Taking New Territories, derived from Romans chapter 15, verse 20. It has come to our attention that there is a lot of littering in the compound on Sunday, especially where cars are parked. We kindly ask that we use the available bins or carry our litter back home. Let's keep our environment clean. God bless. Are you a lady aged 18 years and above? The Women Ministry invites you to our monthly fellowship. Mothers and daughters have always shared a special bond and so a mother will exert the strongest influence of all in shaping her daughter's personality, worldview and attitudes, including personal financial planning. Titus chapter 2 verse 4 admonishes older women to train younger women. The speaker will be Jane Moiga and the topic is mother, daughter and their finances. The venue is CTR Main Sanctuary and the date is the 20th of April at 9 a.m. Are you in grade 6, grade 7, or grade 8, are born again and you would like to go through discipleship classes? Children Ministry will be running Friends of Jesus discipleship classes for grade 6, 7, and 8 from Tuesday the 16th to Friday the 19th from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon. This will culminate with a spiritual immersion service on Saturday the 20th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. The spiritual immersion service is for all grade 6, 7, and 8 students and not just those who have gone through discipleship. Those who will have gone through discipleship and are interested in baptism will be baptized on Sunday the 21st of April after the second service. Parents, kindly note and facilitate your children accordingly. Those coming for discipleship class will be required to come with a Bible, a notebook, pen, and also pack a snack for your child. Don't give money. <coughs> Are you a teacher or a person who loves to work with children aged between 2 to 6 years? The Children Ministry is recruiting teachers for the lower classes. Please register with us at the information desk. Let the little children come to me. Men are especially encouraged to join. After a very long time, the couple's annual retreat is back. All married couples are invited for a fun-filled, informative, and love-rekindling retreat on Friday the 21st and Saturday the 22nd of June in Gilgil. We leave on Friday at 6 a.m. and return on Saturday at 7 p.m. The charges are 18,500 per couple. To book a spot, please pay 2,000 shillings by 4th of May and clear the balance by 4th of June. All payments to be made to the church pay bill 933 and account couples retreat you do not want to miss this hello young men of the church aka chauffeurs out of 10 what is the state of your financial health if it's not 11 we invite you for the men of impact sato on saturday the april of 20th from 7 a.m to 9 a.m at park chapel for an empowering session on wallet wellness discover practical strategies for budgeting saving investing and securing your financial future following the session stick around for 30 minutes for catch-up games and fellowship don't miss this opportunity in your financial well-being and connect with like-minded individuals. The Golden Edges Ministry invites all aged 50 years and above to our bi-monthly fellowship scheduled on Sunday, April 21st from 2 p.m. The speaker will be our senior pastor, Reverend Paul Njoroge, and the venue is the Park Chapel. Please feel welcome. We are scheduled to conduct baptism on Sunday, the April of 21st, immediately after the second service. A baptism class will be held on the same day at 11 a.m. If you wish to participate, please obtain a form from the information desk and arrange your schedule accordingly. As an assembly, we will be having a period of prayer and fasting from the 24th to the 26th of April. This will be culminated on Friday evening by our ablaze service from 6 p.m. The theme of the evening is Facing the Giants. 
The men's ministry invites you for our fellowship on Saturday the 20th of April. The topic is wallet wellness, each according to his ability, derived from Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 to 30 using the wiser model. The speaker is George Oyuga, Director, Retirement Solutions, Kuza Asset Management. The time is 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and the venue is Park Chapel. The Challenges Ministry is inviting you to our fellowship on 21st of April after the the second service. We will be taking on psychological support on self-care and family support on coping mechanisms while living with a special needs person or even aging parents. Come join us. Wedding bells, wedding bells, wedding bells. We are pleased to call for the second time the bands of marriage between John Wambua and Teresa Nyiha to be held on the 27th of April at 11 a.m. If anyone has any objections, kindly write to the church office at least seven days before the date. We are also pleased to call for the third time the bans of marriage between Duncan Wamoge Karaoke and Edith Kanana Kubiku to be held on Saturday the 20th of April at 10 a.m. If anyone has any objections, kindly write to the church office at least seven days before the date. Our M-Pesa pay bill number is 933-944. The account name is Tithe and Offering. The PDQ machine is also available for swiping at the information desk. You can also follow us on our social media platforms on X, Facebook, TikTok, at Sitem Fikarud. I have been your announcer. I'm Stephanie Wangari. to the third edition worship concert happening on the 14th of April at Sitam Thicker Road from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Some of the artists ministering include Sylvia Akors, <laughs> Jackie Gashiri, <laughs> Nyasha Ngoloma, <laughs> Pastor Peter Mchomvu. You gave your love for me so I can hurt. Nelly Tuwikon. Johnson Kibali. Peace Bukachi. Don't me. And the K Crew Worship. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Visit gig.co.ke to grab your tickets. See you there. We have embarked on a generosity initiative that we do believe over the next two years will help us to settle 23 of our CITAM assemblies in permanent residences. And we also do believe that over the last two weeks, you and your family have been praying together on what the Lord would lay in your heart so that you become part and parcel of this journey that together in Sitam we are walking. Now, each and every one of us can participate and we do urge every member of Sitam to participate, whether adult or youth or child, that no one be left behind as we move together in generosity. Some of us uh, indeed can give uh, much more than the 50,000 that we used as an example last time. Some of us uh, might only be able to manage a little less than that. But whatever it is uh, that each of us would make a commitment uh, that we are going to move together, not just 25,000 people, but every member of SITAM engaged in this initiative. Therefore, as we look ahead, today we are giving you a chance to make a commitment. Uh, and this commitment uh, will be led through an app that we do believe will help each and every one of us uh, both to track our giving and also to know how we are giving as individuals uh, so that we are not left behind. Thank you for being part of the Together in Generosity campaign. A special downloadable app has been created to facilitate the process of registering your pledge and tracking your giving entirely from your mobile device. The registration process is simple. Once you've downloaded the app, follow the screen prompts to enter your name, your phone number, and your email address. Press Next and find your CITAM assembly in the drop-down menu. Create and confirm password and register. Next, select a monetary or in-kind pledge. Enter an amount and choose the redemption details. Don't forget to choose reminder options by SMS or email. 
Confirm your pledge and reminder details. You will receive a confirmation message by SMS on the phone number you provided. There are various ways to redeem your pledge in the app. Select an installment amount and a convenient date each month on which you wish to be reminded to redeem your pledge. When you're ready to redeem the pledge or part of it, press Redeem and select one of the payment options provided – M-Pesa, PayPal, bank transfer, etc. Type in the amount and press Redeem. Follow the prompts to finish the payment. You will receive notification that your payment has been received. Download the app today. It's available in the Apple Store for iOS users and in Google Play Store for Android users. Name of the app is Sitam Church. Do join us together as we move in this initiative together in generosity. God bless you. Thank you so much, media team. A round of applause to the media team. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much for blessing us with your ministry. And you know, I was thinking, um, these people who are media team, I think they do a lot of Bible study. You know why? Have you turned to your neighbor? I've always wanted to do this. Have you turned to your neighbor and ask them, you know why? <laughs> Have they told you why? No, they haven't, so I'll tell you why. You've not asked me why. Oh, why? Okay. <laughs> because, because, you see, when Pasi is preaching, when any Pasi is preaching, and Pasi goes like, so there's this scripture that says this and this and this without saying the book or the verse, unless they Google, unless they Google, mm. they usually present it. Imagine. Have you noticed? Oh, Lord. And we bless the Lord for them. You do Bible study. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> ask your neighbor again, do you do your daily devotion? Do your daily devotion. Oh, nafanyanga. Nafanyanga. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much. So, there's some announcements we'd want to echo. Yes. Echo the announcements. <laughs> yeah, let me echo. So, kuna teens week. Yeah? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Teens week. Teens week. Most. Into kifunga tu shule, tuna kujenga tu teens week. As in, I think tuna kifunga shule, ndo tunde teens week. Anywho, eh, teens week, from 17th to the 19th, we come, we enjoy, we play games, we read the Bible, and we also eat. You know, you, you can't forget food. You can't forget food, that's not good. You know, yeah, we eat a lot of things, but we also eat the word of God. You understand? Like, eat the word of God. <laughs> Not eating the Bible, but nourishment. Yes, um, all parents are invited to accompany their children on Friday. There'll be a play. Yeah, play. Uh, you see the play, play group, like play uh, drama. Hmm? Yes, it's uh, entitled Judgment Suit. Yes. It will be fun. You will see for yourselves. So parents, mtu, mtu peleke, au mtu lete. Si mtu wache, mtu lete mukaye. It's from 8 to 10 p.m. From 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yes. And you are requested to pay a thousand bob only. Only one thousand bob. Yes, that you can come and enjoy the Teens Week. Pay bill 933-944, account, account name. Our names, like your daughter's or son's name. Sawa. Aki, please, I'm strong. I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to sleep here. Pocket money is going to So, I'm going to sleep here. Sawa. Sawa, I'm going to sleep here. Sawa. Oh, thank you. Um, and also... Uh, next Sunday on the 21st of April, we'll be having a baptism class. Uh, the baptism classes will be there on the 21st of April. Let me repeat. So um, please, there's a desk out there. Please register with us if you'd want to, you know, you can sign up with us. There, there's a desk there on my right. Yeah, you'll find a lot of youth there. Kitengas, you'll see African wear. We look beautiful today, you know. You can just see around. Hallelujah. Hasn't the Lord been faithful? This is our generation, <laughs> a blessed generation, hallelujah. So yeah, you'll find our table there. Please come and sign up. 
And then please do not be in a hurry to leave after the service today. We'll have a weekend concert. Come have fun with our very own Faith Njilo. Wapi wa kofi? We have Faith Njilo. You know, our very own our very own Johnson Kibali, one of our very good youth, youth workers. You know, he's been very impactful to us with the Jibu podcast. Please, if you haven't even plugged in, come on. Please listen to the Jibu podcast. You know, it's very, very nice and it's very, very impactful. Yeah. So at this point, before I welcome Abby, I'll come back to invite Percy. So at this point, I'd like to pray for the offering as the ushers wait on us as we, at we hear, as we watch, as we as we see what Abby has for us. So let us bow our heads and pray for the offering. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you for making us um, beautifully and wonderfully made, oh God. Thank you for this place, oh God. Sometimes we take it for granted, oh God. But thank you for this position you've given us to worship you, Lord, in everything that we have, oh God. And as we are about to worship you with whatever we have, oh God, with our tithes and our offerings, oh God, may you bless it, oh God, so that it may also be a blessing to someone else, oh God, and to also us as they give us, oh God. We pray that you may enable us to give with one heart, oh God, and to give from our heart to you, Christ, oh God. For there's no one like you. Take the glory, take the honor. In Jesus' name, I do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. So a round of applause as we welcome Abby. Hi. How are you? John Mifraya Kuniona. Anyways, my name is Abby. I'm back again. Uh, so my team and I prepared a very awesome play for you guys. It's dubbed Identity Christ Is. Sawa? Initially, it was Identity Crisis, but we wanted to twist it a little bit. So we named it Identity Christ Is. The cast members are situated in between you guys. So hamta wa jomta wana wakitokea, so msishtuke. Sawa? Mshtuke. Uh, it is dubbed from, the lead verse is First Peter 2.9. It says, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Verse 10. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you had received mercy. So with that, enjoy the play. Thank you. Five, yes. 
Unaona hiyo kosi ya umama utaenda kuifanyia kwa nyumba yako jenga mansho unufanye mimi hapo nataka mbona uelewi dad niwe niwe unajua haya una una picha ya church that the parents you let their kids do their desire but mimi your own son i can't even speak on what i want do you think that's fair eh do you think that's fair ni fair unataka
I didn't want to lose you guys, man. Then you gonna pay. So you know what I did? I went down on my knees and prayed. Prayed, prayed, and I'm still praying. But the more I prayed, the worse you got. Man say, kuna kidi kwa inabia this this is where God's command for you guys. Tika se masi leo shetani. Man say, me na putin so much effort to uku. Inim kabo tu mechil. You don't care. But you know what? I'm done. I'm done with all this. I won't put myself in spiritual warfare for some people who aren't going to battle for me. This is over. I'm done. I'm <clears throat> As a matter of fact, things are going to be a feeling. I've been drowning under a sea of demands. Like, it's like I'm stuck in this endless cycle of trying to please everyone else around me while using myself in the process. My parents. Oh God, they never understood me. I was constantly living in their shadows. Kuna level ilikuwa try to achieve standards on my set. It's exhausting. It's exhausting trying to please them. Knowing deep down, it ain't good enough for them. Of course, now my so-called friends—they're just as toxic. They only care about themselves. I'll go on to make a step in front to get what they want. They were quick to criticize and slow to offer support. I'm tired, you know. I'm tired of <laughs> pretending anything's okay when it's not. I'm tired of living a life that's not my tired of being brought down by the weight of other people's expectations. But you know what? I refuse. I refuse to let them break me. I refuse to let the toxicity consume me because deep down, beneath all this heart and pain, there's a spark. There's a spark that one day I'll break free from this painful existence and live life on my own terms. That time is now, it's just... I'm not okay. Jaden, why didn't you say anything? Don't you know I'm here? We could have prayed together. That's why I'm here, to support you and hold you when you're down and to pray for you and to love you. You understand that, yeah? You need to understand that it's okay to go through spiritual warfare, but it's also okay to ask for help. Why do you feel the need to hide all this under a shell? Ebu to talk you ku. Na nini? Nini? Yeah. Think about everything that you've done to put Jaden to this level of music and yamepika. It's not fair to him. As parents, respectfully, I think that we should learn to understand our children. Their needs, their wants, what they like, what they don't, in a loving way. We should learn to advise them instead of controlling them to do particular things. And as friends, we should learn to love and support our friends and not to force them into things that they don't want to do. I mean, is it that hard of a concept that people don't get? Is it so hard to just be a good human being to others? Think about it and question yourself. A good day then stop looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jaden, come on, son. Jaden, come on, son. Who's your husband? Jaden, you've not been the best parent, and we know. Mimi, after I restock me, 
Just give them 30 seconds to say their name and their role. Sawa, sawa. Shalom, brethren. <laughs> My name is Jim Wendwa. I was playing the role Chris. Hi, um, okay, actors. Hi. Hi. My name is Gabi. I play the role Agatha. Buana yesu asifibe. Buana yesu asifibe. <laughs> My name is Naina Wejimo and I played Mama J. Mm. The hydrating body. Praise God. Praise God once more. Uh, I'm Samuel Loyal and I play the role of Jaden. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God again. Okay. I am Tine Wejimo and I played, and I played, I still prayed though, I played the role of Mary. Up, up, Jesus. Down, down, Satan. My name is Kennedy Kimoto, and I was the reverend. <laughs> Hi again. Hi. My name is Gabby, and I was costume and design. Hi. Hi. My name is Michelle Ayanda. We were, I, I was one of the stage managers and a stage hunt. <laughs> Praise the living God. Once again, I'm Tine Mthoni. I was the script writer. 
and I was the assistant director. Oh. Hello. Uh, my name is Amy Modoni, and I was one of the stage managers and stage hands. Uh, hi. hi. Praise God. Amen. Uh, my name is Daniela Rono, and I was the director. Well, last but not least, my name is Abby, and I was the producer. So, I hope you love the play. Kiske unataka kuona tena, uneza kuja second service, sindo? Deal? Ah, yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are a blessed generation. Hallelujah. That's talent. So uh, I'd like to welcome Pastor Janet to invite the speaker of the day. I've been your moderator, Brittany Luchivia. Have a blessed Sunday. Come on, you can do better than that. What a service. And I have not laughed like that in a lot. Oh my, that, that was something else. We really thank God for this generation that loves the Lord. If you're here and you're young, what deceives you that the fun is out there? Do you actually think these ones who love the Lord are boring? Don't be deceived by the devil. Come have fun, but more importantly, come and fall in love. Come and fall in love with Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your ministry. Young people, we cannot thank you enough. From worship, wasn't that an amazing session of worship? Oh my, thank you. Come on, put your hands together. <clears throat> For the worship team, great moderation. Thank you. May God bless you. Our time is, <clears throat> is really running out. Allow me to bring some few announcements. Wow. I, um, second Tuesday is usually, we have a lot of time, but it looks like this one is really moving fast. Allow me to emphasize that <clears throat> we're going to be having our prayer and fasting on the 24th to the 26th. And then on the 26th, we are going to have an ablaze service. It's not this week, but the next week. But start getting psychologically prepared. Um, then this week, as uh, the teen moderator was saying, whenever there is holiday, we have something for our teenagers. So this week, I believe it's from Wednesday, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., our young people are coming here on Wednesday. On Thursday, on Friday, they come at 11, because they are going to be here from 11 to around past 8, 8.30 thereabouts, because on Friday, they are going to be, we are going to be having a judgment seat play, and that only happens at night. That's why it has to be at night. But we extend the invitation for this play to everybody. These are teenagers. We'd not like them to be here without their parents at night. So kindly, parents, it's Friday. Make time to come and be with your children here. All the teens, let them be accompanied by parents or at least organize with somebody and, uh, 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 to, uh, to be a patron to them. But for the teens week, it's a thousand bob. That is just to help us facilitate them with food. So kindly register today so that we are able to plan. It's a thousand bob to facilitate with the food because we're going to be giving them tea and lunch on all the three days they're going to be here. So kindly facilitate them just in case you are a teenager, and for some reason you know your parent may not be able to afford that, see Pastor D. Whatever amount you're going to talk with Pastor D, that should be possible. So don't be left out as a teen because you cannot uh, get that a thousand. But we acknowledge that some teens come to this church, but their parents don't come to this church. So if that is you and you need some help, just see the pastor. Just see the pastor. Please don't be locked out because uh, their thousand, a thousand bob is out of reach. Also, this week, we have a discipleship class uh, for, for our children. Uh, Sitam has, in, uh, has introduced to the children ministry what we call Friends of Jesus. is our new believers class. But we want all our children to go through it. So on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, it's open for grades 6, 7, and 8, those who are born again. We will be here with them at conference hall too. Just bring them, pack them a snack. But for us, it's from 8.30 to 12.30. Even if you're dropping the teens at 8, they can come around at 8. There'll be somebody there to waiting for them. From that time to 12.30, and then, then they, will take, uh, they will take a break. For this one, it's free. And we actually are going to be giving them a book 
if you can help me, somebody can help me with this book, I show there's a book that will help them even in that discipleship. We want them to be grounded in the basics of salvation. Thank you, sir. It's a series about the basics of salvation. We're even going to give them the books for free. The church is going to cater for it. But kindly, grade 6, 7, and 8, this is for you. But on Saturday, we are going to be having a service where we are going to pray for all our grades, 6, 7, and 8, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We are going to have, we are calling it spiritual immersion. It is open for all grades, 6, 7, and 8. We are going to have it in chapel. We also ask us, help us ground your children. You know, there's so much we can plan, but if you don't bring the children, you know, there's nothing much we can do. We really, these are young people, we have to partner with you. We kindly ask, partner with us. Partner with us to make a difference, a spiritual uh, difference in the lives of your children. So we ask that you partner with us and bring them from 9 to 12 for WM. We'll be running it concurrently so you can come for WM and go with your child. As they finish, we're also going to be finishing. For the men, I know you meet a little bit early. So kindly, we have taken over your chapel. So we kindly ask that the men, you move your venue to Conference Hall 1. The men will be meeting in Conference Hall 1 in that, uh, in that regards. Uh, so to, in the evening, there's a weekend. I know they say go for the tickets. The ticket is actually free. So you're all invited. Come for a time of refreshing in the presence of God. It's just time for worship. From 2 to 7, please avail yourself. Bring your children, bring your teenagers, bring your, the youth can bring themselves. Come, and let's just have time worshiping the Lord together uh, with their working uh, experience. At this time, I want to welcome the together, uh, Alex, to bring us a uh, certain notice from uh, together in generosity campaign. So we continue to ask you to make your pledges. Uh, you've heard uh, from the, our bishop that we want to settle churches. And we continue to ask prayerfully and in faith. Just come, just come over. Prayerfully and in faith to make a commitment uh, towards this. There's a desk outside in case you want to uh, give, uh, fill the form uh, manually. Or you can also use the application. But let me uh, allow Alex to come over. Uh, thank you. So I just want to lay a few emphasis. So I just want to echo a few things. Number one is that because this is happening throughout all C-terms, we are experiencing uh, hanging of the, of, the, of the app during the services, just during the services. I know there are some people who try downloading or doing anything. Please just do it after the services in the afternoon or within the week. There is no problem then. The second thing I wanted to mention, as the pastor has mentioned, there are three ways that you can make your pledge. The first one is through the app, and we've been shown how. The second way is through the website, sitam.org, and the third way is that you can come to, a, there are two tents on the left side. You can come there and manually make your pledge on a form. Yeah? So those are the three ways that you can do it. The second thing I wanted to mention, when it comes to pledging, the amount you're putting there is for two years. These are two-year campaign so put the amount that you are pledging for the two years 2024 and 2025 and they are all the different intervals that you can be able to make the pledge in terms of redeeming again there are so many ways and they've been shared i just want to go through them and pesa you can be able to redeem directly from your app so when you put in the am amount and everything it will just give you a prompt you put in your pass uh, your mpesa pin and it's going to settle that the second way is through a check. So this is how you do it. You need to put it on your app and also bring the check. There are some, uh, I'll give details about that. And then you can also do it uh, by card. Uh, the information desk will help you in the swiping. PayPal, for especially for our, our diaspora guys, you can be able to uh, support us in that way. And bank transfer. Let's remember that the bank and the M-Pesa details are different from our normal offering. I also wanted to mention that um, when it comes to giving cash or check, there are special envelopes. They are different from our normal offering envelopes. They are white in color. Our normal tithe and offering envelopes are brown. So in case you want to redeem, you just need to raise uh, your hand, and the ushers will know. They already have both envelopes. So you tell them this one is for together in, uh, in generosity, and they'll give you the right, uh, the right envelope to be able to redeem. In case of any questions, in case of any comment, any complaint, anything, we have a tent there. We are ready to help you and to serve you. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Thank you for Alex. Please, if you have any questions, just see them at the tent. They will be able, uh, able to assist you. I want to welcome WM pretty fast, if you can come. Our time is really running out. And also, uh, Duncan and Edith, I'll be calling you shortly for prayer, so be, uh, be on the standby. You're coming up next. Good morning, church, and praise the Lord. Uh, today we have one of us that you are going to celebrate uh, because God has done great things in their lives as a couple. And um, today he's alone. And we are not going to postpone. Buenas, if you will, help me welcome our deputy bishop. Please appreciate him as he comes. <laughs> I know he's shocked because yesterday we were together and <laughs> I didn't even signal. Um, our bishop, we are thankful to God that you have grown a year older in marriage. <laughs> On 8th of April, the deputy bishop and our sister, our mom Lois, celebrated their anniversary. And uh, I would like to give him this mic and tell us just a word or two uh, concerning this union that has been since that 8th of April. Hey, this is really, really a surprise. Uh, my name is Justice Mogambi, and uh, Lois is not with me here today uh, because we were in the... I mean, AGM yesterday, the whole day, and so she got so tired, she could be able to make it for today. But she is, she is keeping well. Amen. We have been married for 29 years. Uh, last last uh, Monday, and uh, yeah, we are really humbled. Uh, marriage is good for the young people, and raising children is good. And raising youth is very difficult. <laughs> but we keep praying for them. Amen. I am really humbled by this. I can't remember when you were celebrated last. <laughs> These things were never happening at Valley Road. Uh, this is a special church. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Welcome, our Deputy Bishop. Uh, these are the women. And uh, I would like to ask... Uh, Esther and uh, Pauline to present the one from the executive. That's the WM executive. Amen. 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 We, I know you don't know this, but we have also given you some groups that will be taking care of you, praying for you, and yeah. So here they are. Uh, please present. Uh, they have a small gift. Amen. 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 God bless you and uh, enjoy the marriage. Amen. Bishop, these women here are just amazing. We thank God for them. Amen. Uh, somebody help me bring in the pulpit because I want to uh, call Duncan and uh, Edith. Uh, they're going to be getting married, but the person who make the prayer will pray for them. Their wedding is this coming Saturday. I forget the venue, they will tell us. Uh, at the same time, allow me, no, let, let me finish with this one uh, first. Dan Khan and Edith, Saturday, we get to tie the note. Face the people. Watch our own, Asante Nisana. Please tell us where the venue is and if you're inviting us. Ama, it's cards only. Praise God. My name is Duncan and she's Edith. Uh, we are inviting you to our wedding at Lady of the Valley Garden, Jadiani Road, off Kiabu Road. Asante, I'll ask you to stand there and then allow me. Bringing the word of God to us is also our youth. Let's put together our hands for Shalom. I don't know if the parents are here. Come, come. Rogers is actually a manager with us at CETA, made office. Come, come, escort your son. And actually, I think I'll ask Rogers to pray. Even the brother is here. Come, Shalom. 
Or I ask, or you're using this pulpit. Oh, I forget there are young people. That one is Nimzito. Ama shida yeye ingine ni nini? Ati ataka pasta njoro. Like it's a bad thing. All right. So I will ask you to introduce your family. Introduce Shalom. Pray for Shalom. And also pray for Duncan and Edith as they prepare for their wedding. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I want to present to you the preacher. He's called Shalom Mshindi. Uh, he's our firstborn son. We have the second born. She's right there. You can raise up. She's uh, Deborah. She's in Form 3. Shalom is in campus. And then we have uh, Daniel Imani. And then uh, my wife. Uh, she's called Mwende. Uh, I want to uh, pray. God, I want to thank you. I want to give you praise. I want to thank you, Lord, for Duncan. As they get married uh, this coming uh, Saturday, we pray for them. We commit them before you, Lord. As they begin the journey of marriage, we speak a blessing in their lives. We pray that, Lord, you're going to give them a successful event. We pray against everything that may even make uh, the event not uh, glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. We pray for your uh, provision for everything that they will require, even to make the day successful. We pray that, Lord, you're going to bless them as a couple. I want to present Shalom before you, Ayabo hands. We, I pray that, Lord, you're going to use him to speak to us, O oh God. I pray your spirit, your anointing is going to be upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We adore your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Shalom. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have <clears throat> many times I'm speaking to someone and I say shalom. I have to clarify that it's my name. It happens a lot in my life. And um, I'm really happy to be here. I'll say like the moderator, um, you guys are many. <laughs> yeah, you guys are many. And it's really, really nice to see everyone in the house of the Lord. Um, Pastor D was asking me in the morning, how are you feeling? I'm like, I, I don't usually get shaken by crowds. Then um, in the lounge, I see the Deputy Bishop walking. I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. So because of time, I'll just dive right into um, the word of today, which I have called or titled it, Don't Mind the Gap, But Bridge the Gap. From the play, we have seen that there is definitely a huge gap um, between us, the youth, and the parents. And the parents, you have done a really, really, you have really, really tried in everything you do, judging it by, um, it's, you weren't given a manual um, when you gave birth to a child, shika he, he, data koneshan, he in your step one, two, three, no. But we'll just delve into scripture and see how to live as a Christian and how to live as a Christian parent relating with a Christian child. It's a bit of a continuation of the previous um, sermon um, where he said that he gave a direction which is in the Bible and just pointed out to youth that we should hear and listen um, to the counsel of our fathers and mothers. So we'll just go to Galatians and we'll do a back check of how Galatians is. So Galatians was written by Paul, <clears throat> and at that time there was a bit of turmoil in the church where Peter had fallen, well not to use the word fallen, but he had caved in to the words of different people where they were telling him that for you to be a Christian you have to follow the Torah. And Paul, who was commissioned by Jesus to the Gentiles, is saying no, Jesus fulfilled the Torah. As Jesus said, and he said in the Sermon on the Mount, where he said that you should follow the Torah until all things end. And what were his last words at the cross? It is finished. With his death on the cross, he fulfills the Torah. And Paul's opponents might argue that the laws of the Torah are proven to be a living guide, 
according to God's will. But how will non-Jewish Christians follow it? We do not have Jewish blood, first of all. We do not, if, if we had to follow the Torah, first of all, I would, be, I, would be, I would have fallen miserably because I have shaved my sideburns. But Paul comes in and says in, um, and says that the good news is that Jesus fulfilled the law on our behalf. This procedure is what Paul calls the fruits of the Spirit, where he says that we should live by the Spirit, and by living by the Spirit, we walk by the Spirit. That's chapter 5, verse 25. And in verse 22, he speaks of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You all, most of us know them by heart. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. We used to sing it in primary. But do we actually see and follow them word by word? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. We'll just jump that and put that aside for now and go to Ephesians chapter 6. Or just the book of Ephesians. Ephesians was written by Paul to the church in Ephesus. Ephesus was a city, an epicenter of worship. It was sort of like the city of, of um, Athens at the time. A very good. Um, let me continue. <laughs> but um, he, he writes it to the, book, to the Ephesians. The first half he's speaking of the love of Jesus and the salvation. And in the second half, he bridges both by using the word, therefore. Therefore, by the salvation that we have received, let us do this and this and this. So turn with me, as Pastor Jeroge says, to Ephesians chapter 6. And I'll just turn your attention um, to verse 4 because of time which is a verse that I have not been seen a lot being used more than verse 3. <laughs> Let's start from first, verse 3, sorry. Verse 3, kindly. 2. Honor your father and mother, which is a first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and you may enjoy long life on the earth. Verse 4. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. So that word exasperate is a bit of a technical word. So I decided to see what it is in Greek, which was written there. And the meaning of the word in Greek is do not, do not um, irritate, do not pinch, pinch, scare the buyer. Do not, um, let me just read it, they have written. Um, it means, do not make them become angry. Get, do not arouse, do not provoke your children into anger. You could see during the play how angry Jaden was with his parents. You couldn't, you would think that provoking is directly... No, it might be how you speak to them. It might be the tone in which you speak to them. It might be standing next to something and tell them, and someone is on the other side of the house or even outside. <laughs> Pass me the remote and you are seated right next to it. So we'll just go back to Ephesians 5.22, in which Paul gives a very simple guide, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And I'm just going to speak on very, very, um, just a few of them because of time. We'll start with patience and self-control. You've seen my baby brother over here. He's a very, I'd say, a very intelligent young man. And I'm really proud to say that he's my brother. But sometimes, the amount of patience and self-control. Actually, when I was preparing for this sermon, I realized that I do not treat him as well as I should. And I have really, really changed in the way I speak to him, in the way I say, 
um, Imani, could you please, instead of, eh, hey, Buddha, <laughs> Um, And the point of self-control and patience comes in. Um, I, play, I love playing um, FC24. It's a football game. And um, when I'm playing, I might play, I usually play an online part where I'm playing with someone else somewhere in the world. I don't know the person, but I'm playing with him. And then, let's say the guy is really, really good. And then he's beating me. And then my brother is watching me. And then he's like, wow, Shalom, you're really bad at this game. You can't even score? Hey, yeah, this guy is really good. I think you should practice more. Or when I'm trying, I'm a, I'm a guitarist, and I'm trying to practice something on, the, on, the, on YouTube that someone is playing. And then my brother is like, no, you're getting it wrong. Sometimes I am, I am, I am aroused to anger. I'm like, you just feel like Kumambia. We'll go sit over there. I, I'm not in a, a mood to tolerate this. But patience and self-control. With self-control, it won't make you... The Bible says, spare the rod, spoil the child. But do not act in points of anger. You might be angry to the point But is that what Jesus would have done? The Bible says in Hebrews 12.10, our parents have disciplined us for a little while, as they thought best. But God disciplines us for our own good. So see in the method in which you discipline your child, first of all, are you exercising patience? Are you exercising self-control? Whatever you're doing, is it for your own good? Is it for the child's own good? And sometimes a child may arc you or even exasperate you or bring you up into points of anger that you'll end up saying words that you wish you'd never said. And we wish and we pray to God that the Holy Spirit may guide us and help us in self-control. And some words that you say to your children, even how young they are, they will remember them. I know someone whose mom, mother was so, so, so angry with the child that the mother told the kid, I wish I gave birth to a loaf of bread that we split with the doctor so at least you would be benefit. And right now, the guy is a very, he's, he's old. He's a teenager like me. But those words still linger at the back of his head. Before you say anything or do anything with your child in points of discipline, ask yourself, would Jesus have done this? Would Jesus have done this? We'll go to a point of gentleness, another fruit of the Holy Spirit. You might say that it might be a contradiction where spare the rod and gentleness is in a disconnect. But the rod doesn't have to be ruthless. Treat your child as a human being. Do not see this person as, sorry, do not see the child as mukorofi, uyuni, rowdy youth. See them as a human being. See them as a person who Jesus died for and whom you want to correct in the right path. Whether you're using a rod or using your words, or using another form of punishment. But it all comes down, all comes down to the gift or the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which Paul states first, which is love. And the speaker in the previous Sunday spoke about it and said, parents correct your children in love. Um, I've I, have, I, I engage a lot with my friends in school um, concerning, concerning um, matters, faith, Christianity, Islam, different religions. And most of them 
um, I ask some people, why don't you like go to church or anything and you say that you're a Christian and everything? And that's a question that many people ask. Why, why don't the youth come to church? And I'll just show it to you and point it out very simply. From a point of humility and respect. If a youth comes into church, um, let's, say, let's say this young girl, she's fallen, um, she comes to church, and you might, see, you might see how she's dressed. And in your mind, what comes to your mind? You'll say, you'd say in your mind that, oh, no, we have how, how do you wear such a dress in church? How would you? And before even thinking, your eyes speak more than your lips. And they tell me a lot of times that I, I don't want to go to church because I'll get stared at and the, and the, and the, and the, and the wamamas of the kanisa will come at me when I peleke nyuma when I valise leso. Or ni naogopa ni tenda church ni itafika po kwa gate ni itu a rowdy youth juni kona dreadlocks. Or ni itafika hapo na nianze ku I'll just get eyes and people will start staring at me and looking at me in a condescending manner. I'll just look at a point. Look at Jesus. Jesus, he was, I'll just bring a, this story of Jesus. Jesus was at a Pharisee's house. Simon, people call, some, some writers call him Simon the leper. And as he was eating in communion with them, a woman who had been sinful her whole life came in and cried at Jesus' feet and washed Jesus' feet with her tears and anointed his feet with oil and wiped Jesus' feet with her hair. And the Pharisees thought amongst themselves, if Jesus knew who this woman is or what she has done, she wouldn't be associating with her. She wouldn't be entertaining this, this, this whatever she's doing. Do you see a similarity? Do you see a similarity? And Jesus speaks to them and gives them a parable and says, this person who had a debt which was higher than the other and the debtor forgives both debts, who will love the debtor more? Who will love the guy who forgave? <laughs> who will love? Okay. Um, Mimi, I have a deni, I have a debt and another person has a debt, but my debt is higher. And this person forgives both our debts. Who will love this person more, me or this guy? Me. So when a person comes to the seat, who comes to the mercy seat, who comes from a point of desperation, why turn them away when Jesus brought them in? You might say that you do not physically turn them away, but your eyes turn them away. What you speak about them behind their backs turns them away. And I just give a small definition of the word lukewarm Christian, which has been, in my opinion, has been misinterpreted a lot by saying, because um, the Bible says that I wish you not be hot. I want you to be hot or or cold, but not in the middle. You get. But people say that that means hot, hot, the interpreters on fire for God and cold away from God. But ask yourself, why would God want you to be away from Him? He wouldn't. So we'll just come back to the historical context of the writing of that, that scripture. Who are being written to? The city of that place, I don't remember the church exactly. I think it's Laodicea. Yeah, Laodicea, thank you. Um, on this side, they had hot water springs. And on the other side, there was cold water springs. And, they used to come, and, this, and the water used to come into the city through canals. And in the city, when it comes to the canals there, it's lukewarm. Who wants lukewarm water? I'm outside from walking in the sun, and then I get home, I get a glass of refreshing lukewarm water. Or when I wake up in the morning 
I want to get a nice cup of lukewarm tea. Who wants that? That's why God says, I will spit you out of my mouth. But the next verse explains it completely. Where the Bible says, for you think that you are righteous. You think that you are clothed while you are naked. So, judging and seeing from the previous verse and the historical context, I would say a, a lukewarm Christian is someone who sees themselves as self-righteous, who sees themselves as clothed, yet they are naked, who says, I go to church every Sunday, I'm saved, who says, ah, I fast two times a week, I fast two times a week, um, I give to the needy, uh, God must be very happy with me, but he's not happy with you, you this person who doesn't give. And God, and Jesus gives a very good example of the Pharisee and the tax collector praying together. And just look, you by, or me, by looking at this person in a condescending manner, by the way they are dressed, or by the way they walk, or by the way they, when they come into church, am I being like Jesus, or am I being like a Pharisee? And it all comes down to love. The backbone of Christianity, for God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God had love to show for you. Jesus died for you in love. Is it so much great for you to show love to another person? Not saying that the dressing is okay, they can just come to church like that. No. If someone comes to church in a point of that, you do not start, like Jesus, let's say Jesus, at the time he was being crucified, and the thief at the cross asked him, told him, um, remember me, well, I'm in, well, you're in paradise when you come as king. Did Jesus start telling him, hey, Lazumu, we baptized, first of all, um, you know there is Holy Communion, but, but we started, but sorry, you are not there. You see, but I trust and I believe that he was with him in paradise. And when people come like that, we give them salvation, then all other things come next. Because if you see, and that's a point, where, a point of debate in baptism sometimes, where a group of people believe that the Bible, the way it says that in his household were baptized, where they believe in infant baptism. But you do not see where Jesus said, preach to them, add to the disciples, then baptize them. You have to come to a point of communion with God, then all the other things come next. So while bringing this other part first, you will be denying that person of salvation. You can see the image that, um, that is there. That's a painting by Michelangelo. And it took him 16 days to paint it, a very huge painting. And the outstretched arm on the right is the arm of God. And the other arm that is limp, as you can see, is the hand of Adam. From the theme of this month, from generation to generation, for communion to happen, there has to be both sides coming together. You can see that their hands are not touching. Why? One is outstretched, the other one is not. For them to touch and come into communion, both must touch. To the youth, my guys, you've seen the way, the way they have portrayed in the skit. If you feel like, if you may see that you're, you're in a point of desperation, in a point of, of dismay because of maybe how you've been brought up, forgive. To the parents, if your children have, you have tried and tried to bring them according to the word of the Lord, and they have gone astray, do not release them. 
keep your hand outstretched. Because if you also release them, they will fall. And there will not be any communion. But I'll just end with very, just a simple question to each and every one, to the children, to the youth, and to the parents. Does love, does God's love really reign in everything you do or say to your children or your parents? Thank you. Wow. You may have your seats. Pastor D, we need to have a conversation, a debate, whether as parents we are not allowed to tell our children. Is that is exasperation. Wapi remote not I felt like an African mother. It is hard to receive from a child. But I was like, let's listen to what they are saying. It may save this generation. You know, hard as it is, you might be at me still stuck at exasperation. You're to tacha, you know. But I feel like the skit, they express themselves through the skit. And through the someone they have spoken to us as parents. Let's not be distracted by our Africanness refusing to hear from a, somebody when you meona. Maybe the Sunday school teacher saying, who you see in Fundisha Juzi. But they have, they have spoken to us as parents. I pray that we will not despise the word of God that has come so powerfully today to us. Don't mind the gap. Bridge the gap. Self-control, gentleness. He has stuck there. Self-control in our parenting, gentleness in our parenting, and love. At least for me, those were my pick-up points. Let us not, let's hear, let's listen to what our children are saying to us. We may not have teenagers, but we deal with them. And if you have small children, they are coming there. But let's listen to what they are saying to us. We are blessed by your ministry, Shalom. Let's stretch our hands towards this young man. Go wherever you have put in this young man. And the whole of them who have ministered to us, let me even ask all the young people, let's stand up just for one second. If you're here and you're part of the youth ministry, just be on your feet. And as parents, let's just stand and bless these children. They will be the light in this generation. None of them will lose. Just stretch your hand to the one close to you and just speak a word to them. And speak. There are only the youth who are standing. The rest of us can sit. Let's, let's, uh, let's just point our hands to them. Sorry about that. And just pray for them. If you're close to them, hold their hands and speak that this generation, they have set themselves apart from the Lord, for the Lord, that the Lord will hold their hands. The Lord will use them for signs and wonders. From among them will rise pastors, from among them will rise missionaries, from among them will rise presidents, from among them will raise great business people. We bless them, Lord. They have chosen you, O oh God. Walk with them. In Jesus' name we pray. You may have your seats. One more time, let's put our hands together for the young people. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll ask the leadership to come in front so that we can usher our first-time visitors out. If you're a first-time visitor, you came here for your first Sunday. You have never been before. I just ask that you take your bag and everything you came with and stand up, and then I'll give you the next uh instruction all our first time visitors where are you please be on your feet we want to take you to that place we told you there's a cup of tea please come with all your belongings and start shaking their hands uh where is my welcome people all the young people oh let's start from here from this side just come just come even as we usher you out for a brief time of fellowship just shake their hands from this side all of you just come with everything we are ushering you out we love you we're giving you a priority to get out of the service today. You met with our welcome team. Come on, clap for them. Keep clapping until you're done. Thank you for.
for worshiping with us. We love you and remember in case you're in a space, you're searching for a church, sit and think around. We love you and would love you to be part of us. We meet here every Sunday, 8.30 a.m. or even 11.30 a.m. Every Sunday we are here. And also on Wednesday, we have a prayer service uh, at this place at 6 p.m. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Let's all be on our feet and share the uh, benediction and I will ask the bishop to come and close for us kindly. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. And the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. And may the Lord grant you peace. May the Lord grant you rest. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop. God bless you. Please let's see you on Friday. Friday we are having a judgment seat play. All are welcome. Come with your friends. Come with your neighbor. They may just give their lives to Jesus.